Well, I think indigenous knowledge has uh, rooted uh, deeply in uh, many generations of experience in place, wherever that place is around the world. And in many ways, this is why I think indigenous knowledge uh, derives its core understandings from what it considers to be earth knowledge, that the earth holds the knowledge, that the rocks hold the knowledge, the trees, and all of that stuff, because it has witnessed all of those generations has heard all of the uh, speeches and songs and heard all of the ceremonies, so it captures the essence of what people in that place are trying to express and then inspires people to express that. So it's a reciprocal relationship between the humans and the place. And after being in a place for many, 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 many generations, you get to understand its natural uh, empowering cycle that it goes through, because it's very different than around the world as our cycle here is in a strange uh, situation now with uh, climate change, uh, the flow that our ancestors had become accustomed to is changing. So even now the, the geese are confused. Do we go? Do we stay? The fish, I understand, are running out of order. The maple sap starts flowing and shuts down flow. So as nature becomes confused, we hope that that core indigenous knowledge that we learned from countless uh, experiences in the past will help us help the earth to get back into its its pattern. Because see, it's reflective of us, reflective, and we reflect that. So anyway, that's what I think is indigenous knowledge. So therefore, it's usually very spiritually inspired because of this profound belief in uh, the power of place. It has this ancestral knowledge attached to it of the stories of uh, the people, the collective memory. <clears throat> but it also has a witness of change. So. And uh, indigenous knowledge also represents uh, our experience with colonization. And how we respond and react to that is also an indicator of our knowledge. I think by recognizing the contributions of the past, we get to appreciate the, um, the well from which that knowledge was uh, generated. And so therefore, we have to say, let's protect that well. Let's, let's keep, that, keep the ideas uh, coming so that we want a, uh, a fluent generation of indigenous uh, people, culturally fluent, uh, linguistically fluent, uh, uh, socially fluent, because we're not done being human. You know, we, we can still use some good ideas. So I think, that, and one reason looking back, we'll say, to indigenous knowledge, there's an assumption there that there will be something from there we can harvest and bring forward to affect contemporary practice.